Hello everyone, in this video I want to show you how you can transform your Android smartphone into a desktop PC by connecting it to a docking station using the display link technology. I'll be covering the following topics. I'm going to show you first the equipment you need to achieve this, and then I'm going to show you how to set up your smartphone, and then we're going to test everything. So the equipment you need to achieve this is the following. First, you need an Android device, whether it's a tablet or a smartphone, it needs to be running Android 5 Lollipop onwards. So here I have a smartphone from UMIDG. This is model C2. It is running Android 13. And you need a docking station that is display link enabled. So this is here the Mini Sapporo DS808 docking station. You can also use, of course, other models of devices. And also you need to set up your smartphone so to install the display link application. So let me show you how to set up the smartphone and we're gonna test all this afterwards. So on your Android device, go to the Play Store and here we need to install the Display Link application and then in the search box, go to Display Link. So type Display Link and here it is. And now you need to install Display Link Presenter. So tap on it and then choose Install. So now the application is installed. Let's close Google Play. And now we're going to connect the device to the Android smartphone. I'm going to show you a little bit what I connected already on my Mini Sapporo DS808 display link device. So I connected a keyboard, a mouse, speakers here. This is the audio output. And this here is the power for the speakers. And I connected a full HD display here. And also there is the host connection, which is USB-C. And it is important that the USB-C cable will be OTG on the go compatible. So the display link device that I have has this kind of cable. Before connecting the docking station to the smartphone, I wanted to tell you about two limitations that exist in this type of connection. The first limitation is that you cannot use the physical network port that is on your display link device in case it has one. So this one has a network port. So the smartphone cannot connect to the network with this port it needs to connect wirelessly with its wireless connection. And the second limitation is that when you connect the smartphone with this USB-C cable, it cannot charge at the same time. So make sure that your phone is fully charged before using it this way. So now I'm gonna connect the phone to the docking station with the provided USB-C cable of the docking station. And I tried it before and it didn't work. After troubleshooting, I found it to work this way. So I need to use a USB-C to USB-A adapter so that to prevent the docking station to provide any kind of power to the phone. And then I need to get a USB-C to USB-A adapter and plug this one here and then plug it into the phone. And now it will work. So this is a message saying that a device is connected. You need to tap on OK. And this is another message saying that there's a device that wants to record the screen. And this is how the display link devices work. So I'm going to tap on start now. And you're not going to notice how the phone is now connected to the screen. So the maximum resolution is full HD, 1920 times 1080. This phone cannot display this. It displays 1600 times 720, if I remember correctly. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to put it horizontal and I enable the auto rotate function on my Android phone so that the display will display horizontally whenever you turn the phone. And here, if you open, for instance, any application, let me open the Google Docs and you're going to see how it displays horizontally full screen. This is Google Docs. So this is a document and I'm using the keyboard to type. And I'm using my Android phone as a PC. So if I say hello, see how I can type now with the keyboard. And really everything is working fine. So let me close this if I go back here. And I'm going to show you how the audio also will work. So I'm going to launch YouTube on my channel. So here if I scroll the wheel, I can change the screens on my Android phone, which is really very good. So let's open YouTube on my channel. So let me launch one of my videos. And the third part is how we'll be installing the motherboard and the power supply into the case. So you notice how everything is working from the phone 
on the display and the audio is working keyboard and mouse also they are working now my uh, smartphone is a little bit slow as you notice but this is not the problem of the display link it is a problem of the smartphone if you have any questions or comments feel free to put them in the comment section below and i'll be more than happy to answer all your questions and all your comments i hope that you like this video and you found it useful in case you did please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up i would really appreciate it i want to thank you all for watching i'm eloy from knowledge sharing tech see you in the next video